Brandy Luttrell resting in an emergency room bed right now here at UMMC. She was kidnapped. She was shot seven times and she lived to tell her tale. The grace of God. I talked to 36-year-old Brandy Luttrell from her hospital bed where doctors treated her for seven gunshot wounds. 17-year-old Dontarius McGee is charged with calling her for a ride and taking her by gunpoint. Well, he, he wanted my, um, my PIN numbers to the my phone and the, my debit cards and um, wanted to know how much money I had in the bank and um, also wanted to know what was at what was in my house and so um, I mean I told him whatever he wanted to know because I was you know just trying to stay alive. Shot seven times, but none of the bullets hit any major organs. She managed to stumble to a nearby apartment complex where she got help and a call to 911. Her love and her fear for her family drove her not to give up. Get on your knees, and so I got on my knees, and that's when I heard the first shot, and I knew I was hitting my leg then. And um, then um, my whole body hit the ground, and I was, like, trying to cover my face just in case he kept shooting, and of course he did. The suspect had her home address, her garage door opener, and the keys to her car. And he did confess to the crime. He confessed to uh, calling the uh, female up for, for, for the, uh, the Lyft driver. JPD tracked down McGee and arrested him just a few hours after the crime. To my understanding that through our interview with this individual, this is not the first time that this occurred. In other words, he's robbed other people like this by luring drivers. Yes. A small relief for Brandy, recovering from her wounds and just glad that no one else she loves got hurt. Grateful that my family is okay, that they weren't harmed. JPD says they are looking at McGee in connection with at least one other such similar incident involving either an Uber or Lyft driver. Brandy Luttrell was shot seven times, but she says every single bullet actually went straight through her. It did shatter one of her shoulder blades, but she believes there's a good possibility she could get out of this hospital in a few days. Live in Jackson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.